because he's Murano. Yeah. Oh, that is so pretty though. That is cool. Right? friends this is part two of the last video where we were at Camelback Antiques in Phoenix Arizona so we decided to continue our hunt for more goodies since we'd never been to this place before and uh, we certainly had a lot of fun so we saw this little dog and we'd actually seen a cat like this before and it's for um, Oh gosh, needles, uh, you know, for sewing. Um, and it's from the 1940s. And then of course we see this Blendo pitcher set, $115 though, but my gosh, don't you love the color on that? It's just like, oh, so good, so good. Um, so then Lisa pointed out this helmet on the ground, which is a samurai helmet. Um, how cool is that? I've actually never seen one in person. It looks like it was $75, a lot of metal, definitely heavy, um, and definitely a statement piece if that's what you're going for. Uh, and then we saw these mid-century uh, grapes. They were $27. Um, actually, turns out they were acrylic. And there was something else a little funky about them. I can't remember at the moment, but yeah. But before we go on, I did want to just give everyone a quick reminder that I am now officially doing live sales on Whatnot. I had my first live sale yesterday and it went great. So I am planning to definitely do more in the future. If you want to check those out, um, you'll just go into the description of the video and find my link. And that'll actually give you $10 off your first purchase. So anyways, next we saw this large unicorn. It was $795. I'm sure my daughter will see this and say, mommy, why didn't you get that for me? And I'm like, hmm, I wonder. <laughs> uh, maybe because I was so expensive. I mean, it was really uh, intricate, but Anyways, next we saw this Capa de Monte inkwell. Look at the detail on that, guys. Like, whoa. Um, $65. I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't pick that up. And that is my cat saying hello and, and kicking me for not picking that up. <laughs> um, but I just wasn't sure about it. So I did leave that behind. And then this booth was just amazing. The way they had all the marigold carnival glass displayed love that vibrant orange color um and so i just wanted to give you guys a quick shot of that and then i saw the largest whole piece of pottery i've ever seen in my life it was ginormous it also was 145 dollars, but rightfully so i mean that is again a statement piece um next we saw this kangaroo i just loved his face it was so sweet i wanted to just pinch those cheeks so um i did want to at least give you guys a quick glimpse of that one and next I found these, oh my gosh, what are they called? Not antelope. I don't know. It's escaping me all of a sudden. But I have one of these in my Etsy shop right now, so I was kind of excited to see them in an antique store. Um, I used to think that maybe they were McCoy, but um, I still haven't, or Hager, but I still haven't been able to identify them. Saw some more amazing glass. This swan was only 25, I believe, but I wasn't sure if it was modern or not. So decided to investigate more of this glass over here. And oh my gosh, look at the color of this, guys. The yellow and the orange. It's so retro. The whole set was $210. Looks like it was a, a bowl and then two candle stick holders. It was really, really pretty. Um, but I just didn't necessarily like those three things together. It felt a little weird. Um, so I just continued on my journey of looking for more amazing glass pieces since apparently that's been like my new obsession lately um especially swung vases um so then i see this and i just loved love love the opalescent color of it the blue and it just was so well done i think it says it is 38 dollars, and it is fostoria did i get that right yep i think that that's what the tag says um and I was considering it because just it was such high quality and it, you know I hadn't really seen one of these out in the wild before um, but I didn't have time to do the research to see if there was any room um, for me as a reseller so I did leave that one behind as well. Next I spotted this Fenton bowl. 
under here uh, that was pink and that was $75. So uh, for me, that was, was going to be a pass. Um, I'm definitely getting more drawn to the Fenton glass lately. And then I saw this really cute Jack in the Pulpit vase. Um, but honestly, I just, it was so lightweight and it was really, really short. Um, and it was $18. And I'm kicking myself like I think I really should have picked that one up, guys, and just maybe, you know, seen what ha what would happen with my research later because it's just so beautiful. But, um, you know, not what's the opposite of buyer's remorse? Like when you don't buy something, whatever that is, that's me right now. I'm just like, look how pretty it's just all the swirls and the, you know, uh, that little point that we all love so much with the jack in the pulpit. So anyways, I left it behind. Um, so next we were starting to look at some figurines and I did see this little kitty. Um, I was considering it for a moment. It did have a Japan marking on the bottom. It was $5, but I didn't like that there wasn't a lot of color to it. Um, so I did go ahead and pass and then Lisa spotted these cute little babies. Oh my goodness. Do you see them with their lashes? They've got the eye and then I almost killed them. Because I can be a klutz sometimes, which is very dangerous in my industry. <laughs> um, but anyways, I didn't kill them. And they were three bucks each in really good condition, even after me knocking one over. Um, so we checked them over just to make sure. They did have Made in Taiwan stickers. So I'm, I'm guessing they might be 80s, but um, I picked those up for sure. And then I saw this. Um, blue white crystal bowl but I wasn't familiar with white crystal and initially I thought maybe it was Viking glass $42 I did pass on that because uh, I just don't know enough about white crystal and then I saw this owl I thought it was pretty cool a hobbyist piece um, I think it's a soap dish and they wanted 12 for it I loved the colors very retro um, but I don't know, just with it, with it being 12, I was just kind of on the fence. And, you know, we had bought a lot of really beautiful glass in the last video. If you didn't watch, um, you can find that in um, on my channel. Um, but and so I think I was starting to get pickier at this point. Saw these canisters, thought they were gorgeous, but I think they wanted 40 and that was too high for me. Um, so then I investigated some of this glass. It just looked really um, iridescent and I was kind of curious because it looked very modern to me and so for that reason I did pass next I'm always drawn to these cats these Persian cats this one was 26 but I can never seem to get them at a price where I feel good about reselling them so and look here's another cat <laughs> um, so it does have the Japan marking so that gave me confidence but it was 10 and the quality of it just wasn't um, up to my standards and so then I was drawn to this uh, music box it was $30 look at it, it's like a mommy mouse with all her little babies so sweet um, but again I should have just like done some comps on that one guys but you know I just went with my gut and decided no not for 30 and then I saw burger a rooster uh, Lisa and I have a weird thing about finding roosters um, just because when we get together, we say we sound like a bunch of hens clucking at each other because we can't stop yapping because we love talking to each other. So anyways, that's the history with the whole chicken thing. If you didn't know, now you do. <laughs> and so next we found this Pinocchio. And uh, I had to show Lisa because she's a huge Disney person. She's starting to actually rub off on me. I'm starting to get into it a little bit. It was $20 though. And because of how much the how worn it was the color was so worn um i decided to pass on that um but i did at least want to show her so then we saw these gorgeous cats oh my gosh look at that that's like i love that glazed black look it was a uh, lion it was 15 dollars um so i was like eh, not sure about that um good for a collector and then i saw this cat pen holder it's got like that mid-century elongated kitty cat siamese cat but that one was 30 guys. So I was like, oh, geez, I don't know. Uh, like I said, super picky today. Um, and this uh, cat, this blue cat was 14. And so given the size of it, I felt like that was probably already, you know, pushing it as far as resale value. And I also just had to investigate this wooden cat because I had never seen a wooden cat like that before with 
with blue gemmed eyes for $12. That was something else. Um, and then I spotted this really sweet bird. She was only $5. Um, but I was just unsure if she had enough intricacy to her for others to be drawn. And now I'm like, hmm, she does still look really cute because of the shape of her eyes and her nose. So maybe I should have, but I don't know. Because he's Murano. Yeah. Oh, that is so pretty though. Right. So that is definitely Murano glass. You can tell, look at how high quality that is. That dog was $72. I just wanted to show it to you guys because I just thought it was so beautiful. And now that I'm thinking about it, I should have, I, I wonder if I ran comps because sometimes, you know, you can still make a profit on those things. And then we saw the kitsch, the kitschy kitsch. Uh, this dog just drew me into this cabinet. And there were so many things in this cabinet that we wanted to see. Um, because this little dog was only nine dollars and so we thought hey you know if the little puppy's only nine and maybe some of the other stuff will be priced um in, in a place where we might be able to pick something up so the nice lady came over and unlocked the cabinet for us um and i was also drawn to the bunny in the front you can see here but that one was 15 so um, I had to pass on that cause that was, you know, a bit too high for me, but I had to have that dog for sure. And then do you guys see the bear in the back that looks like a clown? Yeah. You know me and clowns. So that one was only nine. So I picked that one up as well. And then I saw these, they looked like just like the little babies that we picked up a little earlier, just slightly different. Um, so I investigated those, but then I noticed that the top of one of them had a little bit of damage. And so for that reason, I did decide to pass. Um, but we were still just looking because, you know, we found so many things in this cabinet. I was like, okay, we have to continue to look. And I saw a vintage uh, Mickey Mouse or something. Yep, there it is. And I had to show it to Lisa. At first we thought it might be like a candy container, but then it turns out it was, it's like part of a game. So it's just kind of a pretty obscure, like random Mickey head from a game. Um, so we decided to put that one back and then we saw this E.T. nightlight. Yes, you heard me right. E.T. phone home guys. Um, so I was, I loved that movie as a kid. Like I just, absolutely adored it and I know Lisa did did too and so we were investigating it I think it said it was $18 and it was made in 1982 um let's see here so we just wanted to check it out oh $17 yep so loved it, it was so super sweet and adorable but um definitely not for reselling we were more considering it for our own collection for a moment there um had to do one last scan just to make sure there was nothing else that we had missed. Um, and, you know, we actually did pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty excited with all the stuff that we got today. All right, friends. So we ended up spending $150. And Worth it. We got so much stuff. So much stuff. And it was such good stuff. Yeah, like quality. the Fenton Hobnail Red Vase with the ruffled uh, top. The Viking swung base. I mean, yeah. just so much. And then the kitsch. Kitsch, oh, uh, those cute babies. What babies did we get? It was like a little kitten and- A puppy. A puppy, oh my gosh. So we had a blast and I highly recommend this place. Um, so thanks for hanging out. And if you'd like to see more videos, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give us a like. See you next time, friends. Bye.